Hi everyone, Sam McKay here. I just want to do a quick review of the performance analyzer uh, that is now available inside of Power BI Desktop. So I've just got a report here that I'm going to use through the example. So to actually get the performance analyzer, it's now in the view uh, tab in, in the ribbon. So you just need to select performance analyzer and it will appear here on the right hand side next to our fields and fields pane. Now to initiate the recording of a performance so this is this is just a perfect tool to use if you have slow models for example uh, or you're trying to optimize your your model somehow and you can try and find where the hang-ups are occurring why it's taking so long for certain things to calculate and it could be many things it could honestly be um, things like too many visuals or too many colors or um, or or formulas not working, or, or, or a more common one is probably DAX formulas not calculating correctly because they're not optimized well. Also, it could be model, a model issue, okay? So this is where you can at least see where the um, issues are being created within a particular report page, and then you can try and make those optimizations and see what results you actually are getting, you know, from the changes that you're making. Okay, so I've got um, my page here. Now, what I can do is I can go, I can select start recording up here, start recording up here, and then all I want, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do one action on my report, and I'm going to go and see what is taking time. Now, Power BI does work very fast, as I'm sure you're aware. So um, we're we're talking about milliseconds here. Okay, so I'm just going to go start recording, and then I'm going to come to my slicer that I've got up here. And I'm, I'm just going to make another selection. I'm going to go and select one item here. Okay. And then I'm going to go stop. Now, if you see down here, it's looking at every, basically every single element inside of the report. So every slicer we have, every other visual we have, every other measure which is within visuals, it's running analysis on all of those. Okay. So for example, uh, if we look at the matrix down here, the matrix, it's, it's all in, in all of these as well, it's broken up into three different parts. So if we look at the matrix, the actual DAX query in behind the scenes, the time it took for uh, the visual to send the query and for it to then be returned was 128 milliseconds. From a vis For the visual display, so this is the time it takes for the visual to sort of redraw on the screen based on the new selection we've made. Um, that took 299 milliseconds. Now the other one is quite interesting here. Okay, so this is this this can actually be a variety of things. It can be time required to pre for uh, to prepare quick like the underlying query that goes into the matrix could be also waiting for other queries to update within the report page um, and just other general background processing. So it doesn't isn't it's not um, so it doesn't give you an exact. Um, an exact you know, exact notion of what it could be, but it just I think if you're if you've got a slow model, then all of these other results are going to be quite high on all of your visual visuals, right? Um, so I think that you you really probably want to target things like you know things that are visual on your page, like too many visualize too many visualizations or too many colors or um, um, DAX formulas that are just suboptimal. Those are probably the things that you want to optimize, and this other will probably come down with it. I would I would I would imagine that would be my best guess. Now what you can also do what you can also do is you can do multiple. Uh, slicer changes at the same time and analyze what could be causing more, more um, issues than others. So I can go, um, I'm going to go clear here. I'm going to go start recording. I'm going to make another change to this particular slicer. But then I can also come over here and I can say, okay, well, I'm going to change this slicer here as well. And you'll see that it then <coughs> says I've changed the slicer and then goes and records it all again. And we can see um, the speed it looks like you know overall if I just do a quick look you know it's much faster everything renders much faster when I select that one and then I can select another one and see again so it's, 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 it, this is an incredible addition to Power BI I have to say um, and uh, it's it's one of the things I've I've recently started diving into it a little bit more I guess one of the things I would say about it is that Power BI is seriously seriously fast 
and I've never personally if I if you set up things in a best practice way and these are this is the way that I always recommend you set up things all the time you know if you set up things in a best practice way you but you optimize your data tables you build the right um, data model with one to many relationships you have um, simple DAX formula that branch out into more advanced logic if you need it if you do all of those things well you know you don't really never have to worry about performance honestly and so that's um, that, that's always a huge recommendation for me. But in terms of you, know, are you if you are experiencing issues with your reports, which a lot of people do, uh, especially when you're just starting out and you're I'm um, still just getting the hang of how to set up things correctly in your reports. Well, this particular um, feature now within Power BI is really going to be able to enable you, allow you to drill down into you know elements like your DAX queries, you know how long they're taking. Um, also, your know, your visualizations, which which visuals are actually you know taking taking up a long period of time, um, and you know you'll be able to work out what 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 is causing those issues. One of the big ones that I'm I'm quite confident that, that you'll find is that it's it's actually the rendering of the visuals. So if you have a lot of visuals which are having to render a lot of information, that is what is going to cause a lot of slowness inside of your um, Power BI reports. And then, um, and then the other big one is just DAX formulas. So just making sure you create the correct DAX formulas and 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 sim uh, as simple DAX, you, know, you simplify your DAX logic as much as you possibly can. You know, if you've got really large data sets and you're having to iterate through all those really large data sets with your DAX formula, you're going to find that your model is generally running slower. But this performance analyzer is going to is actually going to show you that now, which is great. So a lot. So instead of having to sort of like feel around, feel around in the dark. You know, you'll be able to see through uh, through this analyzer exactly what is causing the issue. It doesn't actually tell you the solution, by the way, but it actually does just tells you what where the problem is. Now, an interesting thing to note: if you do have really complex formulas as well, it's not really going to identify because you see here it actually only gives you one line. So, say you have got a really complex formula with lots of variables, and you know, you're not exactly sure what's going on in each part of the formula. Well, this also isn't actually going to tell you the issues, right? So you're going to have to probably break out your formula into separate measures to then um, work out uh, how they're how they're performing. So that's another big recommendation I always say is that you know really, if you're not understanding each individual part of a formula, break it out into separate measures and put it into a table and see how they're all reacting um, with each other. So that's probably going to help. That's probably going to help when using the the performance analyzer as well. Okay, I'm going to round things off there. Just wanted to give you an outline of this great feature, how to use it. You know, it's pretty simple to use. Um, it's just a matter of um, you know a bit of testing. Probably you know the first time you come across a really slow model um, and things aren't working as they should. Well, this is the best thing to jump into, and then um, you'll start to learn and be able to optimize your models pretty quickly. Okay, if you like this uh, video, um, appreciate a like uh, as always, and don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Okay, talk to you soon.